Hello, it is I, Steel Cat, and welcome back to Let's Play InDev Plus. It's the developing InDev mod by Method. Today, we have finally reached version 1.0. We're gonna head back into World 1 just to see where we're at in life. It's nighttime. It's dark. I have cobblestone. Let's see. Oh, yep, I have some lanterns. That's great. And the moon is rising. Just normal. No! No! I'm not gonna cut that out. What? <laughs> How did this guy? Where's my fences? Hold on. Fences. <laughs> what? How did this guy even get here? H How did he get here? <laughs> How? Uh, How? How? How did this happen? Oh my gosh. Okay, I need I need to craft some more fences real quick. Quickly. What's with the fence recipe? Where did it go? Okay, I have some of this, and I have some of this. Okay, that that's fine. So, just open this up. Open this up. Uh-oh, here comes some dudes already. Be gone, be gone. Fence gate. Fence, fence. Where's my freaking torches? Wow. Evidently, there's some lighting issues around here. Because there should not have been any possibility of that creeper doing what it just did, but, uh, clearly. I was mistaken. And I really need to be working on the lanterns, don't I? Goodness. But that's a slow process. That is a very slow process. Let's uh, grab some of these. Okay. As far as I can tell, my house is in one piece again. Uh, I've lit most of the torches, at least the ones I can reach. Some of these are like really far away. But yeah, we're in 104 and there's a lot of cool new features going on. For example, these advanced tool tips that we have here. Very cool. And uh, I believe the armor system has been changed so it's a bit more like the modern armor system and a bit less like the beta armor system which is very nice let's go downstairs let's see what's going on here um see what i need to repair yeah i need my my hoe um my hoe could be of use in this in these trying times as i attempt to re put my life back together there's a cow down here just destroying my crops right now be gone Okay, other than one pumpkin seed, it looks like I'm back in shape. I can just, I can get those pumpkin seeds just like this. Put some pumpkins in the chest. Uh, actually, no, grab those out. Uh, yeah, turn one of those into, into some seeds so I can replant those. Then I can just leave the rest of these in the chest. That's fine. Uh, where else do I have, like, chest stuff going on here? Looks good. Looks good. Um, okay, the farm is once again intact. For now, might also be changing this to uh, give a little bit more room to these corners, so I could have double chests, and then just move the melons and pumpkins uh, one block toward the doors here, the doorways, and and that might be good. So, but that's something we can do uh, right now because because that's this is this is <laughs> this is an episode of of a let's play. So, this, these are things we can do in, in life, if we so choose. There's nothing to stop me from doing this right now, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Also, it's now a beautiful day outside. It's all green and stuff. Uh, if I go to F3, what do we got? It's, it's still spring. still spring, not summer yet. But the grass is getting noticeably uh, uh, more neon lime-ish, so that's interesting. Okay. <laughs> Whew. Okay, finally, the farm is in order. Everything is back in order. Uh, we, we have our double chests here, and we once again have our four of each of the, uh, the melons and the pumpkins on all the corners and stuff, and that's great. And and I'm starting to calm down again after, after the disastrous start we had to this episode. And uh, I think I'm ready to, to go ahead and uh, start a new world. That's right, we're going to start a new world in this episode. It's going to be pretty cool, because there's been some changes and some stuff 
to one of the existing world types, and it's kind of more more ready ready to go, you know, all, all ready to, to be experienced full in all its full glory, you know. So, so yeah, let's do that. And for this, we are going to put away some of the more valuable stuff that we have on us right now. Uh, the emerald pickaxes and diamond pickaxes and all that. I'll keep my diamond sword. I'll keep my armor as it is for the moment. And we're going to go to a world that's going to look a little bit like this one. But also a little bit not like this one. It's going to be a little bit different. So we are going to... Assuming I'm in a good location. That, you know what? I'm scared of, 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 <laughs> of going out there because <laughs> of what happened. I'm having a little bit of, of a traumatic experience, my dudes, in, in block game. But, uh... Let us change level, create new level, <laughs> a nice world, and we're going to call this, what are you going to call this? I don't know. Um, budget Aether. We're going to call this place Budget Aether. We're going to keep everything standard sizes, uh, more world options. We're going to go with a paradise theme. It's going to be a, excuse me, it's going to be a floating world, and I think we'll go ahead and... Put the season at summer and lock it so that this world is always kind of the same dealio, so to speak. Uh, yeah, we're going to leave it blank for a random seed. And with that, we're going to create the world. Budget Aether. Here we go. Okay, it's doing all the things. Whoa, I see, I see sand. But here we are. Budget Aether. And look, cloud blocks. Yes, yes, we really are. Uh oh. Okay, yeah, those are called harpies, and um, they long for me to die. They are, they are a hostile mob, and they will kill me. But this is the this is the house. I guess we could put a torch in the. Well, there's already torches in the house, so never mind. We don't have to worry about blood moons here because it is a paradise world theme. So there are there should be no blood moons. Uh, the sun the sun is there. Seems a bit foggy today for some reason. I don't know why. But these are the clouds, and I believe we can walk on them. Let's uh, try it. Oh, that's a little scary. But we can walk on them. And they also remove all fall damage. So if we gather these up, and if you were to place them at the bottom of a mine shaft or something in a deep world size, you could uh, you could fall onto them, and you'd be perfectly safe. But here we are. We got some, we got a cow over there. A lot of flowers in this world, which is nice. That's one of the features of the paradise theme. And I guess I could grab some sand. There's plenty of sand here, too. Another feature of the paradise theme. How, how would I get these clouds without dying? How would I, like, collect cloud blocks without just killing myself? How would I do it? Okay. Easy enough so far. Oh, there's one of those guys. Hold on. Do you see me? No, you don't. I'm not here. Can you get them faster using a pickaxe? Not really. And it just... How about this? No. Okay, that, I just lost that one too. Okay. okay. There's a lot of harpies here. And they, they keep falling away, and I keep not getting the cloud blocks as I mine them. Darn it! The harpies just keep disappearing. <laughs> and they're not attacking me so far. So they must not have a huge amount of RANGE! Oh, oh dear. Oh. Ow! It's like shooting feathers at me. Ow. Uh, excuse me. Oh, dear. I don't... Oh, I don't have any food right now. Okay. Okay. I'm stupid. Uh. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, guys. We'll be right back. And grab some... Yeah, I should have grabbed food. That was not very smart. Also, I broke some armor. Yep, I broke my hat. I think I have another one, though. Yes, I do. So let's just grab that real quick. And uh, I think I have some backup boots. I'm going to bring up some backup boots, since those are getting a little low. And we're going to grab some of this cooked pork chop. Very nice. Back to budget aether. Select level. Ow! Okay, I really wish I had some arrows right now! There we go. Got it. Did it drop anything? No. Okay, they do have a drop. The drop can be used to make a particular item. It Okay, I'm over here now. That's cool. There's some sheep. There's a there's a duck! Hello, duck! Let me see one of you guys in a while. I haven't played this game in a while. But there is a duck. We could get an early duck fact. You want a duck fact? 
How about a duck fact that has something to do with flying or being in the sky? That would make sense. So, duck fact in three, two... Oh, hold on, hold on. There's too much distraction for a duck fact right now. Be gone. Away with you. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now it's just me and the duck. Duck fact in three, two, one, go. Yeah. Getting our duck facts on in this episode. Very nice. Okay. You got our duck facts. Yeah. Yeah, you like that duck fact. Don't you, duck? Don't you? Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. He's escaped his pen. He's going to go explore the world with his newfound duck fact knowledge. There are a lot of flowers here. I could get some flowers while I'm here because I don't, I don't have a whole lot of... I just broke a shovel. That's okay. I don't have a whole lot of flowers right now in the main world. It would be nice to have some colorful flowers. Ooh, there's a melon. There's a melon. Yes. Melons do spawn in summer theme worlds. If you or if you generate the world in summer, I should say, not summer theme. If you generate the world in summer, melons will spawn. That's pretty neat. Here's another harpy. Let's see if we can get this guy. Excuse me, guys. Ah, uh, there. Got him. Got him. One hit. Very nice. Ooh, and he dropped. Uh, let me get rid of some crap. Harpy feather. Okay, we have a harpy feather. Those are used to craft a thing. I don't know what. Uh, one of the charms. One of the uh, magical things that goes right here and gives you, like, status effects or something. So that's cool. So now that we have one of those, we probably don't want to fall out of the world and die. I've noticed... I noticed that the clouds tend to generate in a single layer. Which means you can't really mine them much. Which, that that kind of sucks. Uh, uh, ow! I just popped a piece of armor. Probably my socks. Let me go fix that real quick. Hold on. Uh, yeah, yeah, socks. There we go. Okay. Back in business. Excuse me, ma'am. Ah! There we go. I I did it. No, no drop that time. Okay, whatever. Let's go get another one. Ma'am? 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 I know you hate me. Come on. Come on. I know you want to kill me. Ah! Oh, that was so scary. I thought I was dead. I thought I was... What happened? What the... What was that? What just... What is going on? Okay, there's two of them, and one of them got stuck in the gravel for a while. <laughs> that was weird. And I couldn't hit it either while I was stuck in the gravel. I gotta run. I gotta run. This isn't working. Uh, I'm low on food. Oh my gosh. Okay, now there's another one. Okay, hold on. Let's... Let's head back home real quick. Select. Uh. Wow. Okay. Okay. Eat some apples. Let's cook some more food. Uh. Let's put this feather away. Just in case I'm about to die. Yes, I hear you. I hear you. Please quit making that noise. Ow. Where even are. Did you get stuck again? Look. Lady. Jeez. Okay. Hello. Hello. Please charge me. Please charge. Please charge. Please charge. Ow. Why aren't you charging? Isn't that part of your attack pattern? Okay, hold on. Come on now. Let's do this. There we go. No feather. Darn. They don't seem to drop a whole lot of feathers. The feather seems to be a pretty uh, rare drop from these ones. We got a live one. There we go. How are we going to get over there? I don't know. Are there any other ones? Not right now. Okay. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I don't see us getting over there. <laughs> at the moment. So that seems to be the one part of the map. There's just, there's just no way. Okay, never mind. Well, so far this isn't working very well. I'm not getting a whole lot of feathers or anything. And this particular floating world just isn't working very well. And I think I know why. I think I know why. A good floating world, I need to make it uh, bigger. I need to make it bigger. That's what I need to do, because there should be, like, land down there, and there should be land up there, or something. So I'm going to stand right here, change level, uh, create new level. We're going to call this Budget Aether 2.0, and we're just going to make the height a bit bigger. 2.0, there we go, there we go. Create the world. Okay, it's going to take a little bit longer this time. That's okay. 
Alrighty. I just saw some sand or something fall. Whoa! Okay. Yep. Yep. Budget Aether 2.0. We got some stuff going on down there. We have some vertical. We have some vertical to this floating world. Which a good floating world should have some vertical. Um, it's giving me a little bit of vertigo, to be honest. I'm... <laughs> I'm feeling it right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, we got we got some clouds. We, but there was a harpy over there. Really, there, 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 there she is. Come on. Come on. Please hate me and desire my blood. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, thank you. No feather. Okay. I'm getting pretty good at hitting those. That was pretty clutch. Okay, we got some uh ooh. Well, we got some we got some death down there, so that's great. I believe that that clouds are supposed to negate all fall damage. So I could get down to the lower level just by falling, in theory. That should be a safe way to do it, if I can find some clouds to fall onto. Okay, how about over here somewhere? Uh, there is a possibility right there. I might be able to... Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I could get down there. It's possible. It's doable. Let's just uh, go for it. Oh! <laughs> I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. Oh, wow. I'm alive. I'm alive here in Budget Aether 2.0. Beautiful paradise world. But we are getting some mobs because we're uh, underneath the uh, the underside of these island areas where it's dark and stuff, where you can't see the sun very much. I can imagine if you made a very deep world down at the bottom, it would just be all darkness. Uh, but this is a good balance. This is a good balance. We've got, a, we've got an area that's kind of kind of light and kind of dark at the same time. Which is cool. We got some emeralds here, which is very... You know what? Heck, heck I want to get those. Ooh, shoot. Let me have some of that. Oh, do I see what I think I see? More emeralds? Oh, dear! Hold on. Before before I go get the things... Ow, where are you? Okay, there you are. Okay, come over this way, please. Ma'am. Ma'am. Please come this way. Ma'am. Excuse me, pig. Sorry. Whoa, is there like a second one around here somewhere? Trying to get me? Yes, there is. That's why I got hit from behind. I was like, what's going on? Oh, they just hit each other? I think they just did. Feather. I got the feather. Ow. I just popped a piece of armor. Not good. But yeah, we gotta place some more torches in this area. Oh, jeez. You just hid. Uh... <laughs> Could you please stop hiding? Seems to be their strategy. I just broke... I have broken all my armor. <laughs> Let's head back to World 1. <laughs> Let's regroup here for a minute. Okay, let's uh, put those two emeralds away. Let's put away this second harpy feather. Now I have two of those, that's cool. Notice the purple uh, name tag for that. That's a special item, it's for the charms and stuff. It's a special ingredient. Let's uh, let's grab some cobble. So I'm gonna make a cobble staircase up to the in-dev house in this world, in this, in this floating world. Uh, and as far as food goes, I think my best bet at this point is going to be bread. The great thing about bread is it does stack a little bit. Make some new armor, just just iron armor. Because I don't have a whole lot of emeralds right now. I have some, but not a whole lot. Okay, I have all this, and I have an iron chest plate for when this breaks. And other than that, I should be should be ready to go. I think I have more diamonds than emeralds right now. Isn't that kind of... Isn't that not how this is supposed to work? Anywho, uh, change level. Budget Aether 2.0. Select. Here we go. Okay, there's a harpy there. Where is the in-dev house? I gotta find it again. We can build our our tower up there. Oh, that's right. We got some some more emeralds right here, which is very nice. Don't fall through the world. Grab these emeralds. There's one emerald anyway. Ow. 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 Okay, good. Uh... Oh, hello. Hello. Hello, and hello. Okay, that's fine. Again, where's the end of house? I can't see the end of house, but I think it's up there somewhere. Like, like around there somewhere-ish. Well, let's think about this. Let's think about this logically, shall we? Let's, let's, let's do some, let's do some logical thonking. If I get some of this gold, and I chop down one of these trees, and I make a golden sword, then I use the golden sword to attack the harpies. It will take a couple more hits to kill them, but they'll be guaranteed to give me the drop I'm trying to get. Okay, here we go. Put that there. Do I have any coal? Is there any coal nearby? No, but I can cook some charcoal. And now save those logs 
and cook the raw gold into some gold ingots. Very good. I now have a gold sword. Place my diamonds over the gold sword for now and go see if we can find another one of these harpies. Again, I want to get four feathers and then we're going to call it good and find something else to do. And uh, I really think, I think the end of house is up there in that landmass somewhere. I don't remember exactly where. It might be over on that side. It doesn't really matter. I just need to build up a staircase anywhere, basically. I could start it in this piece and then go straight up through there. Okay, I have my entrance to my little stairway. Uh, there's a harpy, but she's really far away. So I'm going to start building my staircase up into the world. And to do that, we're just going to start... Makes sense to start here because I want to be able to actually use real stair blocks for this. So I'm going to make sure the corners uh, work for that. Uh oh. We got a live one. We got a live one. Ow. Come, please. Ow. Where, where did that come from? Oh, up there. Okay. Come here. Come closer. Come closer, please. Now, come on. Come. What the heck? Oh, jeez. No, you're right. You were right there. It was like two blocks away from me, and I couldn't hit it. What the hell? Okay, I might have to run again. I hate doing that, but while we have that mechanic available to us, we may as well. These things are beating the crap out of me right now, though. Brand new armor, and it got like two hits from these things. It kind of seems like the harpies are programmed to degrade armor way faster than any other mob, because I've never seen it happen quite this fast. This is... Insane. Oh, you were right there! What the heck? They're like the bats, man! Come on! Ah. There's no reason I shouldn't have hit it just now. Seriously, there's just no reason for that. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Just... Just come here! Damn it! Okay, you're stuck. No, you're not. Oh, damn it! Ah. What the heck? Okay. Okay, I quit. I quit. This isn't worth it anymore. This isn't fun. I get within two blocks of the thing, and I hit it. And it doesn't even work. So, you know what? Screw... <laughs> but I want to finish my tower, and I can't finish my tower until I kill this stupid thing. If I had arrows right now, that'd be nice. Okay, I just hit it twice. It's good. I had to be within, like, half a block of it, but I hit it. Finally, hit the thing. Where's the feather? I had a golden sword. Where's my... That was just a waste of time. <laughs> that was all just a claw, also a waste of time. Okay, well, I'm going to head back into my tower. <laughs> and I should be able to craft a bed. If I just make a crafting bench real quick. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, four cloud blocks in the center of this staircase. That way, if I want to go all the way to the top and then just fall straight down, I can do that because there's cloud, ball, cloud blocks at the bottom. As you can see, I don't have any, and they're very difficult to mine, but we're going to try We're gonna try for it anyway. And, uh, oh! You've got to be kidding me! Hello? Uh-oh. Hello? Come and get me! Come and get me. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. Uh... Uh, no feather. Yeah, no, no feather. Okay, so... Kind of seems like the golden sword has no effect. The golden sword's looting has no effect on the harpies. So, that sucks. I'm just gonna go back to building our tower here. In defeat. Okay, let's see if I can get this cloud. Oh boy, don't stand on it. Just get it. Yes, I got the cloud. Okay. Yes, I got it. Two clouds. Very good. Yay. Nope. Darn it. Yes, I got four. Okay, I got four clouds. That's all I need. And I can place these four clouds in the ground. I can just place them like this. That's fine. There we go. Look at that. Clouds. I got some clouds. Just walk right through them. Clouds. And they'll be at the bottom of this tower uh, when I need them to be. And hopefully that will prevent death at some point in the future. And there it is. The clear blue sky. This beautiful floating paradise world. Finally revealed. That was dark for a while, I have to say. It was very dark. Digging all the way up through this uh, island, mountain. I don't know what to call this thing. 
I get rid of some of this sand here. Just a little bit more of this to take care of. And there we go. We're up to the top. Just like that. Very cool. Now we're up here somewhere. Uh, I think the end... I still don't know where the end of house is right now. But we are on the second layer. We are, we are on the upper level of Budget Aether 2.0. So we now have a way to get up and down in this place. Do need to go down carefully because there is some... Uh, sand down there, I think. I can't see it right now, but I'm not taking my chances that it might not actually be there. It might have broken. Maybe the sand just breaks when it hits the clouds. I don't know. That could be a thing. Yeah, the sand does break when it hits the clouds. That's interesting. Okay. Well, that's a good thing to know. I can now make a bunch of stairs out of all this cobble I've gotten. And we can finish it off by making it into a nice, smooth staircase. Okay, there we go. Now I should be able to fall all the way down through the center. Wish me luck. Oh dear. Okay. Okay, I'm alive. Clouds negate all fall damage. That's kind of scary though. Very nice. Now we have some windows in here. We can just look out and kind of see as we're going up. We can, we can see some of the world, which is very nice. You can see some of the... the, the these... <laughs> Skeletons on fire. Spiders are fine, though. <gasps> diamonds? No way. Okay, hold on. You can never pass up diamonds. Of course, that means I need an emerald pickaxe, which means I need to head back home real quick and grab that. Okay, now we're back. We're back. We've got our emerald pickaxe, and the diamonds are over here somewhere. I just gotta get to them carefully, because I don't want to fall to my death in the process of getting these diamonds. Let's uh, switch out for the iron pickaxe. Because emeralds are few and far between, they remain few and far between, even though I got a good amount of them in a recent episode in the caves. Yeah, so let's just use those sparingly, even even though I do have a good amount at the moment. Ah! Oh, perfect! Okay, I made it to the diamonds. Let's, uh, carefully do this. Okay, and I need emerald pickaxe. Okay. Ooh, apple tree. Very nice. Let's get these. Very carefully now. One, two, three diamonds. Very nice. Oh boy. Okay. Let's not fall to our deaths. It's a nice looking tower. Kind of goofy with the notches in it, but that's okay. Might uh, get rid of that dirt and replace it with some more, some more cobble just to make it look a bit more consistent, I guess. Okay, that looks a little better. A little bit less goofy that way. On the inside, there will still be dirt, but it's no big deal. Hello, everybody. Uh, it's been a day. It's been a day. This is a new recording session. I'm back in the house. And uh, we're going to go back in into the floating worlds some more. But uh, but first, we're going to make an item that I think I should be able to make. I think I have the ingredients. I need... What do I need? I need some of these. I need two of these harpy feathers. So I got three of them, by the way. I don't know if I showed that on camera, but I got a third one. And I need I need some leather, because I need a pair of leather boots. Where's my leather? There it is. Okay. Let's go to a crafting bench. Actually, I have a, I have a crafting bench right here. What am I doing? Okay, here we go. So, leather, socks, studded boots. I don't know if that's the right kind of boot. Hold on. Do I want, do I want cloth instead? Hold on. One, two, three, four. Uh, that was five. Whatever. I want cloth instead. I do. I want cloth boots. Okay, that's what I want. And then I want three of these and two of these. Why is that not the... Wait, hold on. Maybe it is leather boots? Hold on. How is that not the correct crafting recipe? What's going on here? Okay, I don't know why that's the quick crash regress. Whatever! These are the Skyrunner boots. Look at these. They give us 25 speed. 25% plus speed. Uh, two times jump height and feather falling. Dude. Dude. Dudes! My dudes. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna test these out in the home world first. And then we'll go test them. Whoa, I'm moving fast. Whoa! Jump! Oh, I can jump right over the why did I just get a I don't want that. Look, I can jump. Dude, whoa! Whoa. This is crazy. 
And they're, they're also supposed to, I believe they have a glide effect too. So if I, if I jump off this hill, I should be able to just glide. Yeah! Dudes! Whoa! <laughs> Look at that effect, that's cool. Okay, now we have our boots. We have our boots, we can... Look at this, we can jump up these stairs with our boots. This is so cool. Hello, duck. Hello, cows. Okay, so now we're gonna go find some place to, to jump. If I can get back to where I was before. Here we go. Very nice. The end of the house is just through there, basically. I can just, like, dig through there or something. But I want to get up to a high point. Okay, let's get over here. And let's do it. Let's jump all the way down to somewhere down here. I don't see any harpies right now. It would probably suck to get hit by one in this process, but let's go! Whoa. I can go over on these clouds. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> very nice. But yeah, they're very cool. Very neat. Very neat item. There's a lot of features, a lot of cool items in this mod that I haven't explored yet. Because, uh... I only have so much time to record and make these videos, but we're gonna get this, whoa! And they negate all fall damage, that was a lucky, lucky thing right there. Excuse me, sir. Ma'am, whatever you are. Well, with that, I want to thank you very much for watching this video, my dudes. And if you enjoyed it, I hope you'll hit that like button, or maybe even that subscribe button. That would be pretty darn cool, if you ask me. I hope to see you in the next video where we'll get into some more block game goodness as always. This has been Steel Cat. And hopefully I don't die. I'm out. <laughs>